In this film, we're going to be discussing the Vygotskyan approach to play. Lev Vygotsky was a contemporary of Jean Piaget. He was a remarkably well-read person, and his thought was far-reaching. His most definitive piece on play was written in 1933. Entitled Play and its role in the mental development of the child, it was originally a speech and contains many interesting insights on play. He saw fantasy play, in part, as a means in which a child could defer immediate gratification. Instead of throwing a tantrum or swallowing his desire when faced with something he cannot do, a preschool child discovers that he can fulfill his needs in fantasy play. This gives him control of a situation and of himself in new ways. Let us review the major contributions to a child's development that play makes according to Vygotskyans. First, play provides a child with ways to gratify his or her own desires through creating fantasy situations. Play allows a child to separate thoughts from actions and objects with the use of symbolic props and gestures. And third, play allows a child to practice self-regulation and other skills not normally possible in the real world. Vygotsky proposed that development should always be viewed at two levels. The lower level is what the child can do independently without help from anyone. The higher level is what the same child can do with assistance. The assistance can be direct or indirect. The zone of proximal development, or ZPD, is the distance between these two levels. It defines where development is occurring at any moment in time, in a specific arena. It shifts upward as a person becomes competent in a skill and is thus ready to learn others. Bogotsky's work reminds us of the processes necessary for children to regulate their own internal and external behavior. Encouraging children to draw what they are experiencing, to talk to talk to each other about it, to write about it, and even to talk to themselves about it, enables them to move towards being independent learners. Good job, Alex.